Hey, it's your girl Matasia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn an ordinary stack of books just like this that you may have laying around your house into these gorgeous designer coffee table books. These books are perfect for a beauty room, a coffee table, or any way you want to display some glam accessories in your home. So keep watching if you want to know how to complete this DIY. just a stack of printer paper you're also going to need some books of your choice i got these books from the dollar tree and one of them is just an old book i have lying around you're also going to need a pair of scissors any scissors will do but these are just amazon basic scissors you're going to need some clear transparent tape try to get the kind of tape that's really transparent and not the kind that has the foggy finish and you're also just going to need a regular pencil so the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google and type in whatever logo I want to have. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Chanel logo. And we're just going to go to images. And I'm going to just scroll down and pick whichever one I want. I'm going to go ahead and do this one because this already has the words. And I'm just going to go to copy image and open up my word. And go ahead and copy it in so now that I have it in my word what I'm gonna do is take it and make sure it's center go to format go to position and let's go ahead and put it in the middle so now that we have our Chanel word in the middle of our document we can go ahead and print it but I'm not gonna stop there I'm gonna go ahead and add some more designer logos that I want y'all so I finally have my logos printed I have my Chanel logo I have my Louis Vuitton logo and I just printed multiple of some of them so I can make sure I have the right sizing I also printed a Versace one this one that has the actual Versace logo and like I said you know you can be creative and print whatever type of logos you want on your books um, I printed a Saint Laurent um, so yeah just a lot of different ones and we're going to go ahead and stick these on the books and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that so the first thing I'm going to do is take whatever logo I want to do first so I'm going to do the Chanel one first I'm going to lay it flat on the table just take a book and lay it right there before right before the logo starts and literally all you're going to do is just flip it over and take your tape and tape it down Right. and now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side and literally the only thing we're doing is just taping it down enough so that it doesn't slip and slide over the book there we go tape down and boom we have ourselves a gorgeous Chanel book just like that and of course you guys see the blue is showing but what is gonna happen is as I'm stacking these books on top of each other you are not going to tell that I have any blue showing or any color of the original book showing. So the next book I'm going to do is a Versace one. Um, I figured a trick to make this easier is take your tape and go ahead and put it on this end. So I have it on this end and also this one. And now I'm just going to just place this right on the spine of the book and make sure it's even. And now the only thing I have to do is just push it down. And I'm going to pull, make sure I pull this one nice and tight. There we go. So, and that was a lot easier. So, I have my book almost completely covered. So, now I'm going to take the logo that I wanted to use. And the only thing I'm going to do is just take my scissors and cut it out. So, all you have to do is flip the logo that you want to put on the front face down. Put your book right on top of it. And just take your time and trace out an outline of your book just like this 
on all sides. And now you're just going to take your scissors and cut out that book outline. Now that you have everything cut out, the only thing you have to do is plop it right here on your book, just like that. And just take this side and tuck it right in. And now I'm gonna take some of the tape that we have. I'm gonna do one very long strip and I'm just gonna tape it if I don't get stuck first, I'm just going to take it and tape it right down. And now I'm just going to smooth that tape out. I think I'm just going to cut off the excess tape on both sides. So now that both of my two pieces of paper are secured together, um, you can actually go ahead and tape this thing in the book. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to simply fold it in. But you can tuck it if you want it to be a bit more secure. So, look at that, y'all. You have yourself a gorgeous Versace book. So, let me go ahead and make sure I cut every, all this tape off. All right. There we go, y'all. So pretty, right? And it was so easy. So, that is a gorgeous all-white Versace book. And, you know, like I said before, you guys can make multiple and just kind of stack them just like that. And nobody would be the wiser. And honestly, what I really like about this is it didn't require painting your books because you can still read them. You know, this blue book down here is a Hunger Games book and I can still read it. Like I could still flip through my book and read it as normal, even though it has this kind of cover on it. So... I'm so proud of the way these two came out, and I'm going to make a couple of more the exact same way. Wait, wait, wait. If you made it this far, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching this video all the way to the end.